What is up everybody and welcome back to a new video. Um, this is a little bit of a different video than usual because usually I do flow and cadence videos. But in this video, I'm going to be giving you an introduction to GitHub, um, including what all those complicated terms mean like repositories and readme files and all that kind of stuff. And how you can simply create your own, um, you know, readme file to just write some basic information in. So what I'm, let's just dive right into it, right? So I'm on GitHub right now, github.com. And I'm, I'm currently at my profile. So I've logged in and I've gone to your profile here. So um, there's a few things to note. One, this is, you know, this is my avatar. And, you know, this is my name, a little description about me, all that kind of stuff, right? But the main point of GitHub um, that people usually use it for is something called repositories. Now, you can think of repositories as almost like projects um, or just like places where we store content. So, for example, all the files for Emerald Bot is stored in this repository right here. Um, and, you know, all the files for some chat application I wrote when I was like 16 is here. So, um, you know, that's just what repositories are. And so what I'm going to be showing you today is how to actually create your own repository um, to store your own files and stuff like that. So um, if we go to this plus sign in the top right here, click on new repository. And this is going to allow you to sort of create your own little project or your own area to store information. So because I'm making this video to show people in Emerald Academy how to submit their quests, I'm going to call this quest submissions. Um, now, again, if you're doing this for whatever, if you're watching this video for whatever other reason, you don't, you can name this whatever you want. This is just the name of your project or the name of your, you know, container of information. I can put a description here, right? This is to submit quests for Emerald Academy. Um, if you don't know what Emerald Academy is or why I'm making this video, Definitely check it out. It'll be in the description. Um, it's basically just an educational platform for people learning the Flow blockchain and Cadence smart contract development. Okay, so after that, you, you're going to put it on public. This is whether or not you want your repository to be readable by other people. So if you're doing this for Emerald Academy, make sure this is public. And then skip all these options and just click on Create Repository. So once we do that, um, it's going to give you all this information. What this is for is this is if you want to you know, code on your computer and then push your code to GitHub. Um, in this case, because I'm doing this for Emerald Academy, I'm going to first show you, um, you know, like how to actually just create a file and not have to code or anything like that on your computer. So you can do this all on the web UI here. So what I'm going to do is click on create a new file right here. Let me zoom in a little bit so you can see it. I'm going to click on create a new file right here. When I do that, we're going to give a name to our file. So um, I'm assuming that, you know, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to create a new file for each of your quests. So um, the first, you know, file, we could just be like, you know, a chapter, a chapter one, uh, day one, right? This is for chapter one, day one quest. And you can just put in all your answers here, like answer number one, uh, let's say answer number two, right? So you put all the answers to your quest just like that. And then once you do that, uh, we're going to scroll down a little bit. And it wants you to commit this file. Now, what committing means is it means make changes to your repository. So because we're, you know, adding a file to a repository, we have to actually commit this change. So let's do it. So it actually has some even like sample stuff we can put here. And, you know, the name of this commit is going to be we created or just create uh, chapter one, day one. Usually the names of commits are all in um, like, you know, present tense. So like create chapter one, day one, right? And then we're going to say we submitted or, or we are submitting answers for chapter one, day one. That's, that's the description, right? So then we can go ahead and commit this new file. But what I want to show you really quick is instead of just calling this chapter one, day one, we want to add a .md here. Now, the reason for that is because .md is a way to tell GitHub that this is like a readable file. This is a text file. So if we go ahead and commit this file now, um, it's going to be chapter one, day one dot MD, and you know it formats it in a nice text way for us to read this information. Now, there's some cool things we can do here. Um, if you wanted to make changes to this file, you could click on this edit button right here, and we can make some changes to it. Right now, one thing I want to show you is that you can add like headers, you can add italics, you can add bold, and I'll show you how to do that right now. So, if I want to add a title, you put a little hashtag and then say like this is a title. If you want to add a subheading, you can do two hashtags and say, like, this is a subheading. Uh, you can continue to do this over and over again. So, like, if we had three here, this is a sub subheading, stuff like that. 
Um, and I already showed you that you can use like numbers to, to number your responses. Um, you can also use bold. So the way to do bold is you do two italics and say this is bold and then two italics again, or what is this called? Stars? Yeah, stars. And then for italics, you do one star and say this is in italics, right? Just like that. Uh, or I spelled that wrong, italics. Yeah. So these are the things that you're going to need in order to actually, um, you know, submit your quest. Now, one other cool thing you can do in a, in a .md file is you can do the slash 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 command just like this. So what you can do is you can type in cadence code here. So this these, these uh, little backticks mean codes in here. Um, and so we can put like, you know, um, pub contract, hello world, right? And this this is if we want to put a cadence contract in here. And one cool thing is that if you put cadence right here, um, GitHub actually just added cadence code to, um, you know, to GitHub. You can put cadence right next to these backticks and it'll, it'll know that this is cadence code. So if we, you know, commit these changes, let's just say we updated chapter one, day one dot MD, updated some fun stuff. We can commit this change. And now look, so it says, this is a title, a subheading. Uh, you know, this is what I showed you. This is bold. This is in italics. This is numbered. And then look, here's our cadence code right here. So hopefully this should help you in submitting your quest. Um, and if you want to, you know, create new files, you can just go to um, add file, create a new file. And let's say we want to do for chapter one, day two content dot MD. Um, let's just put in a bunch of random stuff here, random stuff, random stuff and commit this change. Then boom, there's another file right here, which is amazing, right? So awesome. Um, this works really well. And uh, in, I guess in a future, I'll leave it there for now. In a future video, I'll tell you how to actually code on your computer. But for Emerald Academy Quest, this is enough um, in order to do that. So hope this was helpful and see you in the next one.